Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguise 3 Death Institute Majin Academy. In the last episode, we saved Rutil from being manipulated by Stella. In this episode, we are going to chase after Stella and make her pay for what she has done to our beloved high school. Let's go! What are you guys doing? You brought that Nekomata half-breed with you! Do you really want me to dissect her that badly? Oh! Don't pick on her, Mao! She finally decided that she's gonna help us get the certificate back from Stella! Ha! Do you expect me to believe that? How many times are you going to let her trick all of you? Mao, trust her. We have the same goals. We should work together. Precisely. Lay your hands on Miss Rutile, and I shall never forgive you. It's okay. I understand why Mao doubts me. Which is why I need to be the one who gets the certificate back. And when I do, I will apologize. How can you say such disgusting things with a straight face? You sure are a weird honor student. I'm telling you, she's a delinquent. But, Miss Rutil, why did you decide to become best friends with Stella? I never told my parents, but I was really scared of going to a school in the Netherworld. But when I got here, after my transfer was approved, Stella was the only one who was nice to me. She was probably just happy about the fact that she had one more student. Perhaps. I was really nervous at first. But whenever Stella was with me, she always made me feel comfortable. This is the first I'm hearing about this. Stella was the only reason I was able to keep attending classes. That may be true, but Stella took advantage of your pure feelings! <gasps> Miss Rutio? I... I don't think of it like that. Stella was only working her hardest for Majin Academy. So if I talk to her, she should understand. Even if she gives back the certificate, I will do whatever it takes to help her. Alright. If you let her know how you feel, even that stubborn student body president would have to understand. Understand? Don't make me laugh! The Nekomata half-breed and Majin wannabe are both going to be my guinea pigs! Now wait, since she's a Nekomata, I guess that would make her my guinea cat instead! There's no time to waste. We have to go find Stella! Hey, wait! Don't ignore me! Honor Student Feast. Let's do this. There's no use in hiding! My certificate radar shows that you're here. Come on out! So, it seems I have lured you out again. Little do you know that this will be the site of all your graves. I have already summoned all of my students. The pride of our school, the elite Majin cadets shall arrive at any moment. Idiot. All I have to do is cut you to pieces and take my certificate back before they come. Wait! Let me talk to Stella. I can make her understand. Huh? Who are you? Ugh, you filthy cat. I told you not to let me see your face again. What part of that didn't you understand? Stella! Just listen to what Miss Rutil has to say. Ha! No way! I have nothing to discuss 
mess with a pet cat that doesn't obey orders. You shall be laid to waste, along with your pitiful Evil Academy friends. Stella, please! <laughs> <laughs> Here they are. I order all students to get rid of these intruders. What? All students? <laughs> this is it? <laughs> You don't know how much hard work I had to put into this. I only see one actual Majin here. What a sad excuse. Just for a second, I felt sorry for her. Now I kind of get why she's so desperate to get more students. Her school truly is on the brink of closure. I'm kind of starting to feel bad. Well, well. All of you really are stupid. The only thing you need to worry about right now is what to do after we defeat you. Now, in order to protect our school and show how great our curriculum is, destroy these incompetent fools! It looks like we are not fighting Stella. Me too. Whatever. I will do my best. Take this. Wow, I was getting uh I was getting lag from that. That is insane. Oops, I missed some guys. Let's get the guys that we missed. Yeah, Babby. <laughs> Babby. Oh. Oh. Dinky kid. Right. Hey. Okay, let's get to uh let's get to throwing. Till you take care of that. Those Geo Cubes, it kind of threw me for a loop there, but everything is going to be just fine. Go, go, go. <clears throat> now we can reach the Majin. 
Woohoohoohoo! I like these basketball hoops. They are perfect octagons! <laughs> I stole an item from him. I can't believe it! We've been defeated! Oh, what an annoying bunch! Quality over quantity, huh? Imagine! <laughs> Don't make me laugh! You won't even make worthy test subjects! Yeah, the real obstacle here was the Geocubes. <laughs> now it's your turn. I shall punish you so hard, hell will seem like an amusement park! Wait! You can punish me all you want later, but please, let me talk to Stella. Rutile, what are you up to? Stella! Why are you so concerned with their certificate? You didn't need it before, and you worked so hard without it. I know what you did. I know that you worked really hard with the school board in order to keep the school running. I know that you even convinced elite teachers who always skip out on teaching class to do their jobs. I know it's been really hard. I'm sure you had a really hard time. But I will help you. I'll make sure you don't suffer alone. So, let this be over. Don't you want to stop? Sh shut up! You have no idea what I've been going through! I have no time! My father stopped talking to me because this school hasn't been doing well! This is the only way I can convince my father to ever talk to me again! P father Stella, have you? If you really want to help, then just leave and take all your friends with you. And make sure I never see you again. Stella! Damn! How could I let this farce distract me? She couldn't have gotten far. Let's go! I didn't know. Stella. Please, forgive me, Father. I used all our students, but I was unable to defeat them. I'm not going to give them the certificate. I will do whatever it takes to keep it safe. In the past, you were never content with what I did for our school, because Evil Academy was always in our way. I can get rid of that constant distraction. That should make you proud of me, right, Father? Hopefully this time, you will praise me for what I've done. Well then, that was a pretty fancy office. <laughs> Let's heal up. Let's, uh... Get all these out of here. Yeah. All right, Nalan. Before I forget, let's uh, get a proper sword back onto Mal so he uh, he can do stuff. All right. I will see you all next time. <laughs>